All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If Dead Six everything I've heard, you'll help. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got a sin himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, we, we would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizer or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen. I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. To the lion's den. Fine. So, ultra tight security, right? I'd like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti hero numbing their conscience with drink but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Yeah. No. I didn't. Well, I did, but I didn't want to think about it. Besides, we've no choice. Nigel Cass is meeting with a bunch of toffs about a new Albion project. You know that's going to be a fucking cock up for everyone, right? Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place? Quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Huh. Interesting. Can you send me that personal info? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. Yeah, I'm not crazy about revealing ourselves to some Albion bootlicker. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking. I didn't see shite. Um... I 
really have to go. I'm running late. What's up with her, Bagley? Actually, the strangest thing about her is that she's not weighed down by old soup cans at the bottom of the Thames. She's a load of dodgy gambling debts and she's refusing financial help from a rich friend. Never known a gambler to turn down free dosh. Something's fishy. You're right. A gambling addict making a bad life choice. Oh, the mystery. You'd better talk to the friend if you want to crack this one. Solid plan. Bagley, broker a meeting. Auto drive now enabled, please. Auto drive now disabled. Auto drive now enabled, guys. Do you need some help? What's up? This is about my friend, isn't it? Oh, God. She's okay, right? She's in way over her head. Go on. She's destroying her life with the stupid gambling. I tried to help her get out of debt, but no. Now she's off to meet those Clan Kelly thugs. They're going to kill her. Oof, that's not good, is it? We'll look into it. I've tracked our naughty little gambler to a location that's crawling with Clan Kelly goons. We need to dig into this. is nearby. I suppose they might make it out on their own, but going off the number of goons here, I don't like the odds. Get to her fast as you can. Easy now. Get your head down to the 
It is in here. Let's get her out. to pick up where your teammate left off. I'm sure they'll thank you once they stop eating through a tube. Oh, that's awful. Send them some sweets or something, bags. The hostage is in here. Let's get her out. Make sure they're all right. Are you okay? Hey, I knew what I was doing. It would have worked out just fine. Uh. Okay, well, maybe I didn't. But I nearly had it. It could have worked. What do you mean? So I had this plan, right? I get so in debt to them, that they haul me in. And bam! Once I'm in their hideout, I stick them with a virus. Except they were all, no money, we break your kneecaps. And I'm all, well, that escalated. No shit, Sherlock. But hey, maybe you could do it. And then we split the dosh. Like Robin Hood and Little John. Piss easy. I got this. Well, she's certainly entrepreneurial. 
though not exactly risk averse. Yeah, she seems cool. Let's help her sister out. She might even join up. I found your Clan Kelly lieutenant used the same password for everything since middle school. Should make a good target for the crypto virus. I'll send you their details. available for some time. If you're feeling clever, you might consider recruiting a paramedic to the team. It's a brilliant way to shorten that hospital stay and get your teammate back online. for that crypto stealing virus is around here. Right, okay. Upload complete. Now Scarpa or they'll kill you for sure. She likes that. Let's hit her with the good news. It's all done. I know. I can see all the numbers in their account getting smaller and the ones in mine getting bigger. We make a good team. We should do this again. So, do you want to fight? Uh, not, not me, just in general. For dead sec. Yes, yes, yes! We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Now let's schedule your mandatory dead tech face tat. Just kidding. Welcome to the team. Yes, I'm so ready to help out the cause. Brilliant. Uh -huh. 
Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. I do not feel the need for speed. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Another brave soul for our ranks. Welcome aboard. Yes, I'm so ready to help out the cause. Fucking excellent. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look.
A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You seem to know an awful lot about him. Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't twigged to that. Me and Cass were close ones. Looked up to him. Huh. He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. So I wanted to... Intruder alert. Intruder alert. <laughs> clearly requires a security pass. Brill. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. I have to think, if we didn't need the mercenaries, they wouldn't be here. You've been up there, Leo? With the tone bombing, the and there's the immigration issues. issues, and it seems like every day there's a... Yeah, I know what you mean. But it's always the end of the I've heard some talk on the street that they made it back in operation. No, I'm not going to stop you. Some people just refuse to live in that shop. There's some rumbling to get here to talk to some signs that they need to be back in some form. Well, if they are out there and stirring the pot, It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I've dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Let's see it. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as a random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Oh, wow. I almost feel sorry for him. But maybe he should have gone through therapy instead of being put in charge of securing London. Yeah, well... Nigel was never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How are you getting on 
every day there's a bloody gun. The deadline is coming up quickly. It wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting for the stakeholders right now. I just don't know. I know, I know, but if I mess this up, the whole project is delayed. I don't know how. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. I promise you that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you'd call us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right. The Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well... For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. A building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to docking. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. How do I get out of here, Bags? The catacombs, fam. Wow, this tech is so cool. He plans to launch Themis ASAP. And from the way he was talking, I don't think it's a sort of genie that goes back into the bottle.
Oh, crap. I am not liking this at all. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Uh-huh. Yeah. 